Hello, good evening. How you doing? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, 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 welcome to tonight's today's session. How are you? How you doing? It's a good to see you. It's good to see you again. What's going on? Welcome, Jenny. Welcome, uh, Catherine. My dad, Ana Lopez. Thank you for your punctuality. How are you? How are you today? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm very well. I'm very well. Excited. We're going to finish one week. Today we finish one additional week. Um, so I'm excited. We are moving on. We are advancing. Um, remember, tomorrow we don't have class tomorrow. So you have off. You have off tomorrow to do your personal personal activities. Okay, so let's say welcome everyone. Uh, tell us tell us what is your what is your plan? What is your plan uh, for this coming weekend? Let's start with uh, who? Let's start with uh, my day. Good evening. What's your plan for this weekend? Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me, my day? Um, the uh, person. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Hello? Uh, hi. How are Hello? you? What's your plan for this weekend? My plan in this weekend is sleep and wash working in the morning saturday and in the in the afternoon uh, watch tv or series or movies no more no okay sense. okay so in the morning okay you have to work in the morning yes i guess Okay, okay, so you say I have to work in the morning and in the afternoon you are, you are off, you are free, right? So yes. you go home, you relax, you watch television, so that's your plan for this weekend. That's good. That's yes. Good. So you don't work, you don't work on Sundays, do you? What? You don't work on Sundays, do you? No. Sunday uh, rest. Okay, so you say, no, I don't. Repeat, no, I don't. No, I don't. I rest on Sundays. I rest Sunday. I rest on, on Sundays. Okay. Good enough. Thank you for that information. Thank you, Ms. Mike Day. Let's go with uh, Jenny Escobar. Can you hear me, Jenny? Welcome. How are you doing? Good evening. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I go, go in the in my house. You are on the way home, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. Okay, be careful. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you for being connected. Thank you for your responsibility. Uh, Jenny, that's very, very, very admirable. So okay, let me okay. say hello then to who? To Ana Jansi Landa Verde. Um, how are you doing this evening? And what's your weekend plan? Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Repeat with both, please. Yeah, the same question. The same question. How are you doing tonight, and what's your plan for this weekend? Okay. Um... 
Mm, no planet. <laughs> um, so, sleeping. <laughs> okay. 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 You say, uh, mm, I have, I have no plans. I have no plans. Plan. I have no. I have plans. no plans. That's one way because you can also say I don't have plans. I don't have plans. Which whichever way you prefer. Um, I only want to sleep. I only want to sleep. Remember, you need to start with the subject. All the ideas that you give, you have to start with the subject. In this case, the subject is I, the first person. So you start with I. I want to sleep. So it's a complete idea. You need to express complete ideas. Okay, Anna Jansi? Okay, teacher. Practice, practice and practice. So you have no plans. Okay, let me go with Catherine Ramirez. How are you doing today, Catherine? Hi, teacher. Um, I have the, supermar the supermarket in the morning. You have, you have to go to the supermarket. You have to go to the supermarket? Yes. Okay. okay. I I go the to the supermarket. Uh, later, um, I wash the clothes. Um, mom, este, um, domingo, <laughs> se me fue. <laughs> Sunday on Sunday. Uh, on Sunday, um. Uh, I go to the beach. With oh, really? My family. With your family? Yes. Good. With my family. Good. Thank you. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. So next week, next week, you have to prepare some, some information, all right, about your okay. trip to the beach okay let me say welcome to the ones that already joined the class today we're going to study there is repeat there is there is is for singular things okay so when you use there is you need the article a okay or the article n a or and do you yeah. remember these articles? A or N? For example, A. Articles. Uh huh. A. For example, A. Uh, um, apple for singular. Mm, apple, is that correct? A apple. Or an. An apple. An apple. Repeat, an apple. An, an apple. apple. So you can say there is, yes? Or the contraction, there there's. Repeat, there's. There, there is a. There is a. Or there, there a. is an apple. Yeah. There is an apple. Or you can use the contraction. There is, there's. There is, there's. There's an apple. Repeat, there's an apple. There's an apple. There's a sandwich. There's a sandwich. Okay. There's a or there's an. Okay. That's for singular. For example, there's a banana on the table. Okay. There is a pupusa on the plate. All right, there is a, there is an, there is an orange in the refrigerator. There is an singular, okay? So for plural, we're gonna use there are. Repeat, there are. 
There are. There are. No contraction there. No are. contraction. Okay. You have there. to say there are. For example, there are. There are and um, for there are, it's plural. No need of article. No need of article. The only difference is that you need to say the um, the noun in plural. You need to make sure the noun is in plural. For example, if singular is an apple, an apple, it's singular. There is an apple. Repeat. There is an apple. There is an apple. There is an apple. Versus plural. What is the plural form of an apple? Apples. Apples. And apples. Apples. Uh, singular. An apple. An apple. There. Repeat. An apple. An apple. An apple. An apple. That's the singular form. Plural. Is apples. 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 Apple. And, and apple. no need of article. What you need is some. Some. Repeat. Some. 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 Apples. apples. Some apples. Uh, plural. Plural. Many. Many. There are some apples. Okay. Quantity, maybe. Three, four, five, ten apples. Okay? Some is for affirmatives. Remember, some is for affirmative. Okay? So, let's practice there okay. is and there are. Let me share right now the screen. Uh, some is for affirmative. Remember, and then we have any, any, A and Y. Any is for negative statements and questions. Remember, yes. some is for affirmatives. <laughs> for example, there are some pupusas. There are some students in this class. There are some, right? There are some, um, what? watermelons in the basket okay there are some any is for negative okay and any is also for questions so we're gonna check that right now let me just share right now the screen with you here we go okay so there you go Let's watch this. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On, next to, near, close to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind. All right, guys, let's repeat these prepositions. Repeat after me. On. Oh. Um. Next to. Next, Next to. Near. 
Near. Near. Near. Near. Near. Near. Near. Close to. Close, close to. to. Okay. Near to oh, or close. close to. Near. Near. Near to. Close to. Close to. Across from. Across from. Or opposite. 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 In front of. In front of. In back of. In back of. Or behind. Or behind. Behind. Between. 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 On the corner of. On the, on the corner, corner of. of. Do you have any questions on these prepositions? No questions? Across from means al otro lado. Como cruzar la calle al otro lado de la calle, ¿verdad? Across from. Between? Between means en medio de. We have two places, between the bank and between the library. Está en medio. Ah, uh, okay. Between. In back of? In back of is atrás. Atrás de, for example, in back of the bank. Atrás del banco. In back of the church. Atrás de la iglesia. Behind, lo mismo. Behind the supermarket. Atrás del supermercado. So, this is to give directions. Prepositions to give directions. O sea que las dos significan lo mismo. Correct. Correct. When you see a forward slash like this, is that you have two options. Cuando vean aquí un slash como este, que son las dos opciones igual, right? For example, near to is the same than close to. And across uh -huh. from is the same than opposite. And in back off is the same than behind. So, is your option. Is your option. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's practice. If in front of? In front of. Está en frente. Justo en frente de usted. In front of. In front of the library, for example. In frente de la librería. It's in front of the uh, bakery. Right? In frente de la panadería. So this is to give, to give reference points. Prepositions to give reference points to help you with directions. Okay? Okay, thank you. All right, okay. you're welcome. You're welcome. Let's continue. For example, is there a laundromat near here? Can you repeat? Is there a laundromat near here? Is there a laundromat near here? It's singular, right? It's for one place. A laundromat. Let's change the question. Let's change the question. Okay. Uh, my turn. Okay. Repeat. Is there a bank near here? Is there a bank near here? Near. 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 Near here. Near. Near here. Here. Cerca de aquí. Is there a bank? Repeat. Is there a bank near here? There. Is there a bank near here? Bank. Is there a bank near here? Is there a bank near here? Very good. Give me one bank. question. Give me one question. For example, is there is there a let me see a cafe, an internet cafe? Do you know what is an internet cafe? Do you know what that is? Repeat internet. Internet cafe. Internet cafe. Internet. Internet cafe. Do you know what that is? Es lo que le llamamos nosotros uh, un ciber, ¿verdad? Ciber. Uh -huh. In the United States, it's known as internet cafe. Um, repeat. Is there is there an an is there an internet Cafe near here? Is there an internet cafe near here? Repeat, guys, repeat. Is there, is there, is there an internet? An, an internet, internet cafe? An internet cafe? Is there an internet cafe? Repeat, is there a cinema near here? 
There is cinema. cinema near cinema here. Near here. Give me one question, Ana Yancy. Give me one question. I didn't, I didn't. Singular, singular form. We're using the singular form. Katherine, give me one question using singular form. Is there a, a intern, internet cafe? Internet. Irene Café. Irene Café. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Rodrigo, give us one question. Is there a stadium near here? Is there a stadium near here? That's a good question. Uh, Sheila, give us a question, Sheila. Sí, teacher. Uh -huh. Give us a question. Singular, singular. Singular. Um... <laughs> only one, only one, only one. Julian, Julian, help Sheila, help Sheila. <laughs> Julian Moreno. Is there a supermarket near here? Very good. Is there, is there a, put a the intonation, right? Is there a supermarket? Is there? Yeah. It's the question. Is there a supermarket? a supermarket near here yeah. very good very good let's go catherine yes mm. uh, simply singular oh yes please okay is there uh, the gym is there a gym ah the preposition is a gym is there a gym is there near a gym? here is there near a gym here. near here is there an is there a gym near here? Gym. Gym. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gym. Okay, good. Let's go, Karen Guevara. Give us a question in singular. Okay, is there a car wash near here? Good job. Is there a car wash near here? Very well. Let me see who else, who else, who else? Anna Jansi, you ready, Anna Jansi? Singular question, singular yes, example, go ahead. Is there a shopping near here? Yes, yes, a shopping center. Is there a shopping center near here? Okay. Very good, very good. Now the answers, because this is a yes, no question, right? It's a yes, no question. You have to say yes or you have to say no to start with. So you say, yes, there is. Repeat, yes, there is. Yes, there, there is. is period and then you open you open a new sentence to provide the specification to provide the direction for example there is one because it's singular there is one there is one yes because it's, it's one laundromat because it's one shopping center because it's one bank because it's one stadium because it's, it's one place yeah it's singular you use one there is one and you give the preposition there is one on Main Street. There is one across from the shopping center. There is one near to the stadium. There, and you give directions, you give reference points. Yes? Or you say negative. You say, no, there isn't. Repeat, no, there isn't. No, no there, there, there is isn't. But it's negative. No there, no, there isn't. But, yes, no, there isn't. But there is one next to the library no you're right so you give additional information you see okay so let's go over plurals let's go over plurals for plurals in the question we use any okay and check the noun check the noun it's not a grocery store singular but grocery stores plural grocery stores pronounce yes okay Repeat, are there any, are there any grocery stores around here? Are there, are there any grocery stores store around, around here? here? I, I couldn't catch the plural, stores. 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 Are it's plural. there any grocery stores? R is plural, okay? Any is plural stores. also. So the noun stores must be plural. Here? Correct. 
are there any grocery stores around here? Repeat, are there any are barber there shops? Any barber are there shops? any barber shops around here? Are there, are there barber shops shop around, around here? here? Wait, wait. Are, are there? There. There. The, the, there. Are there. there. Uh, are there any? Are, are there, there are any, there any are there any and the plural noun grocery stores any. right grocery uh, stores salons right shopping malls right movie theaters plurals plurals are okay there any let's make a question let's make a question Karen Yvonne give us a plural question don't forget are there any plural Okay, are there any supermarkets around here? Supermarkets? Supermarket. Good, 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 good. Thank you so much. Let's go, Adeli, give us one question. Plural. Are there any schools around here? That's good. And you can even be more specific and say, are there any public or are there any private schools around here right excellent let's continue jenny or ana lopez let's go are there any shops around here shops 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 like like what means shops like like car shops? Coffee shops. Oh, coffee shops. Okay, okay, yes. You need to specify, right? Coffee shop, imagine car shops, motorcycle shops. <laughs> so yeah, coffee shop is a good question. <laughs> All right, let's go, Sheila. Plural question, please. Are there any Shopping shoes. Okay, okay, okay. Around here. Around here. Around here. Around, uh, around here. Around here. In the area, right? Close for you, right? So mm -hmm. thank you for the question. Let's go, Mr. Mejia. What's your plural question? Okay. Are there any banks around here? Perfect. And, and I caught your S for plural pronunciation. Good job, sir, good job. Guys, the plural pronunciation has, has to be heard clearly. Please, you need to pronounce the S, okay? You need to pronounce the S, everybody. Um, let's go, Julian, can you make a plural question? Are there any points, taxes around here? Okay, 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 okay. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Let me go with Catherine. Around here. Um, are there any restaurants around here? Any or any? Any. Correct. Could you, Sorry. Could, could you please repeat? Yes. Are there any restaurants around here? Yes. And I, and I heard your S pronunciation, Catherine. Good job. Good job. Let's go with Anna Jansi. Okay, teacher. Are there any players? Players? Around here? Players? Players? Jugadores? Jugadores? No. Players? Hay like. Jugadores aquí? No. Yes, but more specific, like basketball players, football players, football volleyball players, players football? Football players? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. yes. Are there any uh, football players around here? Football yes, players. that's yes. correct. That's correct. Okay, okay, very good. Remember, when it's negative, you say no, there isn't, or no, there, there aren't. If it's there if it's plural, no, if it's singular. Aren't. Yes. No, there aren't. Yes. Okay. No, there aren't. No, they are. are there any football players around? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell something there is, and something that 
isn't in your neighborhood or in your hometown? Do we have a volunteer? For example, in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, there is a police station. Yes, it's like it's across from my house. Okay, but um, there isn't a firefighter station. So, yeah. Do you have any example like that? Singular example. In your neighborhood, uh huh. Vamos a hacer la, la pregunta y de un solo contestar. No, I was asking you okay. for something that there is and something that there isn't in your neighborhood. Okay. For example, for example, in my neighborhood, there is a bus station. There is a bus station. Okay. But there is yes, there is a uh -huh. yes there is a police station there is a police station in your neighborhood okay that's good that's good you have security you have protection that's great in my neighborhood okay there isn't there isn't a school in my neighborhood somebody has an example no in examples? my neighborhood in my neighborhood, there is a park near my house. Perfect. But, but in my neighborhood, there isn't a, a bus station near my house. Is there a supermarket near your house? Yes. Yes, uh, it is. Yes. Just, just there is. Yes, there is. Yeah. Yes. 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 Remember that when you answer, you need to adapt the answer to the question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Attention, guys. Attention. I'm going to give you an answer and you have to make the question. Are you ready? Yes. I'm going to give you the answer and you think about it and you come up with the question. Ready? For yes. example. For example, just there is, just there is. What is the question? Yes, there is. What is the is question? There? Yes, uh-huh, uh-huh. Is there a um, car wash? <laughs> Uh -huh. here, here. Correct. Good job, Anajansi. Yes, that is a correct question that matched the answer. Okay, next one. Next one. Attention. The answer is no, there isn't. No, there okay. isn't. Make a question. Okay. Is there your brother in your house? Mm, is there yeah. is there is like not really a person right mm -hmm. is there is to ask about maybe a place or maybe about food right existing food in your house for example is there any pizza in your mm -hmm. house right when you're asking about stuff like that, okay. not really people, not really people. Can you change the question? Is there any vegetables in your refrigerator? Is there any vegetable? Is there any vegetable? Singular? Are you using singular? Is there any vegetable? Or is there, is there any tomato? It could be better to make a plural question that way. Are there any vegetables? Because vegetables, right? Are there any vegetables? Uh -huh. And also for tomatoes, are there any tomatoes? Are there any tomatoes? Or we need to buy some tomatoes, right? Are there are there any um, 
in what potatoes are okay. there any onions plural plural is there is there is for singular are there is for plural okay next one the answer is yes there are what is the question yes. They are. Yes, there are. Yes, are there any? Are there any shopping? Are there are there any banks around here? Are there any banks? Mm -hmm. Repeat banks. Thanks. Are, are there, there any are there any, any, are there any around here? Are yes. Around here? Correct. Correct. Nice job. Nice job. Congratulations, guys. Let's move on. Let me share my screen once again. Good job. Good job. Good practice. That you're not knowledge and then it's about uh neighborhood. Taking into account questions like how many, how much, and quantifier. Okay. Let's check the conversation. Tengo una duda. Yes. Tell me, Miss. Puede ser. Are there any clean shoes today? Clean shoes? Yes. Yes. Are there okay. are there any clean shoes today? Correct. It's plural. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Uh oh. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> any any coincidence? Uh, you know, could be, could be. <laughs> okay, oh let's, no, there isn't. Do any... you have any question on this conversation? Do you have any question about the vocabulary? Uh, don't. Downtown. 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 Down. Downtown. Downtown. Downtown is the center of the city. The center of the city. Yeah. In El yeah. Salvador, we call it El Centro. Let's let's go. Uh, let's go to El Centro. People say. So you say let's go downtown. Yeah. Down downtown do, do, do you go downtown guys yes yes sometimes huh yes sometimes all right all right all right any other questions yes it's here. okay any other um, question crime c-r-i-m-e do you know what that is crime right yeah what is what is crime? Can you give me a definition? Crime is when is when people are doing uh, or taking wrong decisions. Uh, Correct. Correct. It has to do a lot with delinquency, right? Yeah. Robbery. Uh, uh, you know, um, violating the human rights. Women, women's rights, children's rights. So that's crime. It's the uh, safety, right? Okay. Any other question? Hold on. Repeat. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What's what's that expression? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on is equals to esperar como espera un momento. Wait a minute. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold One on. moment, please. Hold on, especially on the telephone. Especially on the telephone. Okay. What else? What else? No more questions. Let's practice the conversation. Students, participants will interpret Nick's role. Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Palm's role. Are you ready? Ready. Let's start. Three, two, one. Let's go. How do you like your new you like apartment? Your new apartment? apartment? How do you like your new apartment? Yes. Intonation. Please make it make it sound natural. How do you like? Repeat. How do you like? How do you like? How do you like? Do you like? like, like Don't say how do you like, but how do you like? How, how do you like? like? Repeat. How do you? How, how do you? How do you? How do you like? Like. How do you? How do you like? You like you. <laughs> New apartment. <laughs> How do you like your new apartment? Repeat. How do you like, like your new apartment? apartment? Apartment. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. I love it. Downtown. 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 It's so very convenient. convenient. Oh no. There isn't any. I live in the fifth floor. Oh no. Oh no. There isn't any. I live on the 15th floor. Fifth floor. Floor. Fifth, fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Repeat fifth. guys. Downtown. Repeat. Downtown. 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 Repeat. Downtown. Is there much noise? Is, is there, there no noise? Okay, okay. Repeat. There isn't any. There isn't any. There isn't any. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. I live on the fifth floor. What is what is fifth? Fifth floor. Fifth. What's that? Quinto. Quinto. Quinto? Piso. Piso? Correct. Repeat. Right. How many restaurants are there near your place? How many, How many restaurants, restaurants are there, there near your place? place? Restaurants. 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 It's plural. Restaurants. 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 Yes, pronounce the S. Restaurants. Restaurants. Okay. Restaurants. Repeat a lot. A lot. A lot. Repeat, in fact, in fact, in fact there is, there's, 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 there's an excellent, there's an excellent, there's an excellent there Korean, Korean, Korean place Korean just Korean around the corner. Place. Korean place. Just around the corner. Just around, just around the corner. Around the corner. 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 What about parking? What about, what about parking? What about? What about parking? What about parking? Well, there aren't mm -hmm. many parking garages. Well, there aren't many parking garages. Well, there aren't many parking garages. Well, there aren't many parking garages. 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 A garage. A garage. Garages. 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 <laughs> but I usually, but I usually find a place on the street. But I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? 
Is there much No, it's pretty safe. No, it's, it's pretty, pretty safe. safe. Pretty safe. It's it's pretty safe. It's pretty, pretty, safe. pretty safe. 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 It's safe. pretty safe. Safe. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's my car alarm. That's my, That's my car alarm. I'll I'll call you back later. I'll I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. I'll call you back later. I'll I'll Call you back. Call you back later. Okay, we're ready. We're ready. We're ready, guys. Students, participants, you will be Nick, and Teacher Kalev is going to interpret Pam's role. Please sound natural. Three, two, one. Let's go. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there a Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there in the new place? A lot. In fact, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Wow. Wow. Um, well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there, Is there a crime? crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> 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 I'm a good actor. I'm a good actor. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. You will be Pam, and teacher Kalev is going to interpret Nick's role. You ready? Yes. Ready. Okay, please. Yes. Put naturalism. Three, two, one. Let's go. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. I love it. Convenient. Convenient. Repeat. Convenient. Convenient. Repeat. Inconvenient. Inconvenient. You see the difference? Right? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Convenient. Convenient. Oh, alguien me dijo ahí la palabra general, convenience, conveniencia, right? Este es conveniente, the adjective, convenient. 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 Uh -huh. And the antonym is inconvenient. Inconvenient. Okay, okay. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh, oh no. no. There is How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. A lot. A lot. Sounds interesting. Um, what about parking? Is there much crime? No, no, it's <laughs> nice job. Okay, only one correction. I know it's difficult, but uh, repeat the singular is a garage. A garage. A garage. A garage. There is a garage. There, there is, is a garage. There is there's a there's a garage. There's a garage. There's a garage. There are there are some garages. 
there, there are some garages. garages. Okay. Repeat, there aren't any garages. There there are are garages. 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 I know it's a garage. difficult word. Garage. I know it's a difficult garage. word. Yeah. Let me check this one, please. Any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? In fact? What's what's that? In fact? In fact. What's that? In fact. In fact. In fact. What's that? What's that expression? Mm. It's like it's like to to remark something. I have the I have the security of something. I know. I know. So I say, in fact, there is an excellent Korean restaurant. Yeah. To introduce a strong idea. You understand? Okay. okay. All right. Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. <laughs> All right. That's a good one. I really like that one. I really like that one. Okay, guys, let's introduce quantifiers. 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 Yes. Quantifiers. To talk about quantity. For example, we have quantity. a lot. Wait, we have two categories, right? We have countable count nouns. Repeat count nouns. Count nouns. Count nouns. Count. Nouns. count. Count yeah, like count. one, two, three. Count, count yeah. now. Count. 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 count nouns are the ones that obviously you can count, right? And yeah. non-count nouns um, are the ones that you cannot count. They are impossible to be counted. Okay, let's go over the quantifiers. All of these ones are called quantifiers. There are some quantifiers you use only with countable nouns. And there are other quantifiers that you use them with non-countable nouns. Now, there are some special quantifiers that you can use with both, with countable and non-countable nouns. But we're going to learn um, that tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we don't have class, but Monday. On Monday. Today we're going just to introduce the count the quantifiers. Let's repeat. A lot. 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 Okay. Repeat. A few. A few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Say many. 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 Any. 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 None. 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 Repeat, a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. For non-quantifiers, a little. 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 Be careful, British English, a little, a little in uh, British. So be careful with that. A little American. Repeat, much, 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 much. any, 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 none, none. 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 Notice, notice that a lot, you can use it with both, with quantifiers and with non quantifiers sure. yes yeah. you can say you can say there are a lot of students yes yes there are a lot of students it's countable yeah. and you can say there is a lot of water there is a lot of water a lot of juice there is a lot of juice 
Yes, there's a lot of coffee. Okay, so you can use it with both. A few, a few means like the number five or the number six. Yes? Yeah. For example, there are a few teachers. Teachers. What am I saying? I'm saying that there are around five or six teachers. Okay. So this is how we learn uh, quantifiers. Many, many, it's quantity. A lot is here. A lot, a lot. Okay. Many. Okay. Many. And then a few. Okay. And then any. And then any. none. None. No. Okay, very well, very well. So the the uh, quantifiers for non-countable noun are similar, right? A little, a little, a little, a little. You cannot say the uh, well. You people sometimes confuse, but be careful with this. A little and much, much, much. Much more non countable. Much, much. Okay, any, any, any. and none. None. No. Okay, let's watch this. No. One. To all of you, in this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Okay, so maybe, maybe uh, it's too early, but we will study these questions next week. Maybe you can picture this and you can practice this during the weekend, okay? And if you have questions, you can chat me. You can chat me, teacher, is this question correct? Teacher, is this correct? Chat me and ask me because we're going to practice with quantifiers. And also I'm going to send you some information on the, on the WhatsApp chat. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Rodrigo, tell us how do you feel? How do you feel in this class? I feel very, very happy. I'm very tired because of my work, but I'm very happy to practice with my, with my special teacher and my special uh, classmates. Classmates, yeah, classmates. <laughs> Hey, very good, very good. Uh, Catherine, how do you feel, Catherine? How do you feel your English? Your English is progressing. Yes or no? Thank you. Yes, yes. Um, how do you feel? Um, poniendo atención, ¿cómo se diría? Paying attention. Paying attention. Paying attention. Pay attention. Um, Repasando un poquito más. Reviewing, okay, paying attention yeah. and reviewing, reviewing the class. It's important to review the class, it's important. Sheila, how do you feel in this class? Sheila, give us your opinion. And the practice pronunciation. The practice and the pronunciation, you like that, huh? The practice and the pronunciation is important for you. Great, great, great. Okay, guys, I have to say goodbye. Thank you for your attendance this week. Let's continue studying English. I'll see you next week. Okay, have a good weekend. Have a good big weekend, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for the class. Bye, teacher. See you on Monday. Bye. Take it easy, everyone. Yes, teacher. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye. Be safe. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. Goodbye.